Country 1077 WDLC. Kevin Siegel with you during the early bird special. I am joined today by the one, the only, Lorna Luff. Lorna, how are you doing today? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm doing quite well. Now, we have a few things coming up, everybody listening right now. Coming up this Saturday, December 8th, 7 p.m. at the Milford Theater, it is Lorna's holiday concert. She's coming back to Milford for the holiday concert, again, at the Milford Theater. And it's going to be an exciting and brilliant take on some holiday tunes, some made famous by her mother, of course, Judy Garland. She'll have stories from her career on Broadway and in Hollywood as well. You might have seen her in Promises, Promises on Broadway, Extremities as well, maybe a live performance at the Tonys with her sister Liza Minnelli, uh, also performing at the Hollywood Bowl, Madison Square Garden, just to name a few, and also on TV too, her own documentary, which she was the subject in, Somebody's Daughter, Somebody's Son, and not to mention what she was here for last time in Milford, a best-selling author. That's right. So, Lorna, great intro right there, if I do say so myself. You've done so much. So what brings you back to Milford? Why come back here for this holiday concert? Because I really, when I was first there, I really fell in love with the town. I fell in love with the the people of the town. Mm -hmm. And the theater is so beautiful. And I thought, wouldn't this be lovely for a Christmas show? So I talked to the powers that be and said, I'd love to come back and do a Christmas show. And they said, are you kidding? And I said, no, I'm not. And they said, great, can we put it together? I said, please do. Please do. Because I just found it to be sort of, you know, you leave New York City Mm -hmm. and it's the hustle and the bustle, which I absolutely adore. Sure. And then you, you go, you go out to Milford and there's peaceful Mm -hmm. and everyone knows each other. And it's just like sort of being an MGM film in the 1930s. It's just, the architecture, the you know, the people. I thought it was one of the nicest and kindest cities I've ever worked in. And it's it is that small town vibe that you're talking about. You know, everybody knows each other's name when you're walking down the main drag. Of course, you have the stores left and right. You have the Apple Valley Plaza in there as well. It's just a real small town feel, like you're saying. And it's kind of like a throwback in a time period that just kind of takes you back. So I totally get what you're saying about that. I do have this question for you. If somebody who is coming to your show has not been to one of your performances, what could they expect from a Lorna Luff show? And what makes this one so special? We just talked about the, you know, the town of Milford in itself. But what makes this one so special to you personally? Well, I think it's this time of the year. And I think that Christmas brings a lot of joy. Mm -hmm. It also can bring some other feelings and emotions involved. Some people get very sad at Christmas. Sure. So my show is all about joy and about bringing in songs that we all know and bringing in movies, the home movies, I call them, from my mom's television show that I was on when I was 11 years old Mm -hmm. and talking about that and talking about, and listen, one of the most famous, famous Christmas songs of all time is Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas, which was written for my mom. So, I mean, I talk about that. I talk about family. Mm -hmm. I talk about my family. I have two children who now have children. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm a grandmother. (laughs) And um, I don't know how the hell that happened. (laughs) Because I feel like I'm 17 years old. So, I, I just, I think it's a time to bring everyone, you know, together and just be united. Because, you know, we don't know what people have gone through in their lives. I know certainly in the state that I live in, which is the state of California, we've gone through some terribly rough times right. here right. with uh, the fires and all of that. So it's a, it's a time for, I think, all of us. If you're sitting with somebody at my show and maybe you don't know them, introduce yourself and, 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 and become friends. And that's what my show is all about. It's all about how we all are here for one reason, and that is to maybe make someone's day a little bit brighter. Absolutely. You know, you have to realize that this is the holiday season. There's a reason they call it, you know, the most wonderful time of the year, and it's because of the little things. It's because of the people and your family and friends around you. California in itself has gone through some rough times lately. We know that. So hopefully you and your family are safe out there and friends as well. Yeah, we. I mean, my, my family was safe. My mm-hmm. family was safe, but they had a, a number, especially my, my son that had about, 16 or 17 friends who lost their homes in the Malibu fires. My children went to school in Malibu. So 
we just, I mean, it was devastating. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's all about now making sure that you reach out to somebody and say, what can I do for you? Sure, sure. Not what I want for Chris. What can I do for you? And that's what I just think is important. But it's not for me, for me as a person. Mm -hmm. Christmas is every single day. Right. And, you know, when you have that connection with your fans and, you know, your audience members and even just the ones around you, do you feel like doing these types of shows is a great way to connect with your fans, but also express those wonderful family memories like you're talking about? This is not just one singular performance. This is a whole show and it's about connecting in every which way. You're going to be telling stories, right? You're going to be talking about your family. We just talked about how this could bring people together who have never met at one of your shows. Do you feel like these types of shows are just a great way to connect with your fans? I do. I think it's not only a great way to connect to fans, but it's a great way for fans to connect with each other Mm -hmm. and for people to connect with each other. And if, you know, I've I've gotten letters from for years and years saying, you know, I went to your show and I met this person and now we're friends. And I think, that not that great? Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. And as I said, it, you know, the holiday season, I think because, uh, and I'm going to, uh, don't, don't get mad at me for this, <laughs> but because there was a pressure put on all of us mm-hmm. by the commercialism of mm-hmm. the holidays, uh, that you think that if you don't run right away, to target or something, you know, like that, that something's going to happen to you. Right, right. You know, and it's, uh, there's such a pressure. People put so much pressure on themselves at this time of year. Mm-hmm. And I think to myself, this, it's just, you know, they ma- they've they made it so commercialized. Right. And the, then if you really break it down, what does it really mean? Mm-hmm. And when you think about what it really means, that should be every day. It should be. There shouldn't just be one singular day for no, the, for these kinds for of things. Me, You're exactly right. Every day. And you have to realize that it's a, really about the people. It's about the people around you. It's about the people you meet every single day and interact with on a daily basis, or even those that you don't see all the time that you see maybe once a year. You know, for these holidays, but it isn't about the gifts, right? It's like you're saying. It's about the connections oh, no. made. It's about. It's more than that. It's more than that. I mean, look, it's just about, it's about, you know, if you, like my daughter um, and I, always every year we, you know, go down to a food bank Mm -hmm. or we go and we feed um, people that do not have what we have. And especially this year, we were with the firemen, we were with, you know, all of the first responders in the police department, and they're the ones that really deserve the credit for saving so many lives. Right. And, and and just, you know, when everybody else is running out, they're running in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So um, th- those are the people that we, you know, I go and I get big boxes of uh, of cookies because I, I don't bake. It's terrifying with me in a kitchen. It's sort of scary. <laughs> That's all right. So I go and I get a whole bunch of cookies, and I give it to my firefighters that mm-hmm. are down the street because mm-hmm. I know what they do for for me. So, I mean, that's what it, what it is. Uh, it, it's just a time to say, we we know what you did for us all year, so this is you're not by yourself, thank you. Absolutely right. No one's by themselves here, and it's the season of giving, and it's exactly what you're saying. You know, these people do risk their lives, and you're supposed to be thankful and giving, and, you know, some people you know may not have it as well as you do, right? And that's exactly the message you're trying to send here, and that's a great one at that. And 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 I really do believe, you know, that's the message that everyone should be taking during the holiday season. Oh, I think like it's all about coming in to see my show yeah. and walking out and saying I had a really fun time now, because I interact with the audience and I make I hope it's all about when I put a show together I really think what do the audience want to hear not what I want to sing mm-hmm. what do they want to hear sure. and so I think it's really important and that's why I I've, I've got film clips and I I know what I want to give 110% of myself because that's my job to do. Absolutely. Now, what are you most looking forward to when you come back to do this show? What is it that you're most looking forward to here in Milford? Okay, I'm really, really looking forward to showing my husband the town. He wasn't with me <laughs> when right. I went when I came to see when when I came to do my book signing. Right. Um. At, 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 so he wasn't there. So I, I keep saying. Wait till you see this. This is like you've gone back in time. This is so beautiful. And everything about this, you know, this town is, is like you're walking into a little MGM movie. And it's, it's just, and, and especially at this time of year. Yeah, I, am I packing up every single thermal and warm things? Yes, I do. Because I live in Palm Springs. 
So right now, um, it's not exactly warm, but for you, it probably would be, I mean, really, really, uh, it's lovely weather. Anything but over 40 believe, is good. <laughs> okay, so we are over 40 in the daytime. Okay. But I have to say, I think that December should be cold. December, I yes. I really do. There's just something wrong about 80 degrees in December. I think it should be cold, and I love to buy all of that stuff, so I get to use it. Do you like snow? I love snow. You do? Okay. I do. I love snow. I love watching it fall. I I love watching it. I'm not wild about it three days later, (laughs) where you're sort of slipping and sliding on the ice. Sure. But, I mean, listen, that's just part of, that's part of the 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 east coast you know lifestyle i'm not wild about that but if you dress up warm and you dress up and you've got you know good boots and stuff like that it's mm-hmm. great i love snow absolutely and it's it's part of the winter atmosphere right so what i'm going to ask you to do is bring I mean, all your winter, winter clothing Wonderland. exactly yes thank you you got to bring all your winter clothing because what if it snows right on saturday you never know our forecast changes i love it quite frequently so hopefully you do get a little bit of that snow that you're looking for, and then you're out of here, right? So you're good to go. You don't have to deal with it then three I days go, later. And I go right. I don't. I don't go very far. I go right into Manhattan because I'm doing a show at 54 below. So I go right, right into New York, and then I spend a couple of days in New York, and then I'm back here in Palm Springs for because my family's coming down. Oh, okay. So then there you go. So now you actually get to feel the atmosphere, feel the cold, because I'm sure we're gonna have a couple of cold days. If it does snow, at least you get to see it for a couple of days, and then you're out of here back to Palm Springs. As Irving Berlin wrote, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Absolutely agree with you 100%. We need a white Christmas. That would be amazing once again if that were to happen. I know it happened here a couple years ago, but we need it again. It happened to me last year. I was in Seattle doing a wonderful Broadway show called Holiday Inn. Mm -hmm. And we came out of the stage door literally Christmas Eve and it was snowing. And we all said, oh, my God, we're in an Irving Berlin song. Exactly, right? You're living the song. I think that's amazing. And so hopefully we get a little bit of snow for you this weekend. If not, I apologize. But, hey, we'll give it the the best (laughs) shot. We'll give it the best shot we possibly can. I'm sure all the people who live in Milford really are are really (laughs) thrilled with me liking (laughs) snow. I mean, I'm sure that the people who have to shovel their driveways are going to come up to me at my show and say thanks a lot. (laughs) (laughs) Well, hey, you know what? It'll put everyone in the holiday spirit nonetheless. So we're here talking to Lorna Luft, of course, for Lorna's holiday concert happening this Saturday, December 8th at 7 p.m. Milford Theater in the town of Milford. Again, it's going to be amazing. Uh, You can get your tickets online at lornasholidayconcert.com as well right now. So make sure you get online, you get the fingers going, and type in that website so you can get your tickets right now. Again, Saturday, December 8th. Don't miss it. Lorna's Holiday Concert. Lorna, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you so very, very much, Kevin. I hope all your listeners have a wonderful day, and I'll see you very soon. All right, sounds good. And there you have everybody, Lorna Luft here on Country 1077 WDLC. Get on out there. See your show. It's this Saturday, December 8th, 7 p.m. at the Milford Theater.